so today I'm going to be showing you how to connect the PS5 controller, the PS4 controller, and the Xbox controller to the Steam Deck. So first thing you'll need to do is on your Steam Deck, you'll just need to hit the Steam button on this side, and then scroll down to where it says Settings, right here. And after you go to Settings, scroll down again until you see Bluetooth. Then after you go there, hit OK, and make sure you turn on your Bluetooth. After you turn it on, it will start searching for devices. Now, we'll put this down for a second, on the actual controller, and this will apply for both the PS5 controller and the PS4 controller, hold the start button with the share button at the same time until you start seeing it flashing. There we go, it's flashing blue right here. It might be hard to see under the light, but it's flashing blue nonetheless. And then once you do that, now it's in pairing mode, so it shows up on here. And then on the Steam Deck, now you'll see that the wireless controller showed up at the bottom right here. So you'll just hit OK. So that way you tell it to start connecting to that new device. And you'll notice that now on the controller, it's lighting up white and it's a solid line. That means that it is connected. Previously, it was lighting blue on the side. That means it was in pairing mode. So that way it's a little indicator to show you that it's connected. And then after that, you'll notice that on the Steam Deck, it's working right away. And since the Steam Deck has all the software that's already built into Steam, it will automatically recognize that this is a PlayStation controller and it will give you the PlayStation controller settings. So it will just work right off the bat once you connect it. And also same thing when you connect the Xbox controller, it will show up the same way. And there we go, we've connected the controller over to the Steam Deck. Now, two things to watch out for is that first off, on the controller, sometimes when you don't use the controller for a little bit, it goes to sleep mode. And that means that when you start moving the controller around or moving the joysticks, nothing would happen for like a second or two until the controller would wake up and reconnect to the Steam Deck. It's not a bug, that's a feature. Second is that if you already had a game open while you were doing this process, after you get the controller connected to the Steam Deck, the game might not recognize the controller right away. So in that case, you'll just need to restart the game before the controller will actually be recognized by the game and start working. And for the Xbox controller, all you'll need to do is looking at the back side, you'll see that there's a pairing button. So you'll just hold this button for two seconds. And then after that, you'll notice that on the front, the Xbox sign will start flashing white, which means that it entered into pairing mode. And then from there, you'll just follow the same exact process by going into the settings, Bluetooth, and then connecting to that controller. And just like that, now you know how to connect any controller over to your Steam Deck. And if you found this video helpful, just know that on my channel, I post a lot of stuff about the Steam Deck and all the new tech. So maybe consider subscribing or dropping a like. And with that, peace out.